What's going on guys? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. I'm here in my studio with Ali Sutton. And today what we're doing is we're taking a strobe and we are recreating a sunrise look. So right now I've got all of my strobes off and I already took the photo, so I'm just gonna put it up so you can see what it looks like. It looks like this and it looks pretty crappy and dark. So what we're doing is we've got a strobe on the outside of this brand new door that I installed the other day and I'm gonna create kind of the light that would happen in the morning if I was up early enough. So I've got a Westcott FJ400 battery powered strobe, uh, probably about 15 feet out the door. I've got a half cut of CTO gel on there and what that's doing is that's creating just a little bit of a warmer tone to kind of replicate that sunrise look. The other thing we're doing is it's shining through the window which has these kind of slats in it. Uh, and that's creating kind of a gobo effect on the background. I've just got a V-flat world V-flat here that she's standing in that's kind of creating a corner of the, uh, like kind of a corner of a room. And we've kind of got sort of a fitness look, you know, as if she just got up and she's about to go for a run or something like that. So let me show you once we turn this light on what that's gonna look like. And again, that's just gonna warm up the, warm up the, the image. It's gonna look like it was sunrise, but it's not. As you can see outside, it's just kind of a gray overcast day, but you can really create this. It can be pitch black outside and you would get the same effect. Uh, I've got my strobe at the highest power, so it's a 400 watt second strobe. So it's a 400 watt second of light coming in here. Um, and I'll put my camera settings up here as well so you can kind of see what, uh, what I had there. So really with this, the higher the power of the strobe, the better results you're gonna get. So I gotta hike my ISO up just a tiny bit but not too much, not like all the way up to 800 or anything like that. So uh, I'll go ahead and take a shot with the strobe on just so you can see what that looks like. All right, so we got some shots that I'm really happy with. It definitely looks like we woke up early even though it's 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, but one thing I like about this shot is I'm actually shooting at a little bit wider of, an, uh, like wider of a focal length than I normally would. And the reason for that is so I can retain that detail in the kind of shadows that the door is creating. So if I zoomed in and I had a, I'm shooting a 24 to 70 lens, if I was at all the way at 70, you'd kind of lose that, uh, that definition in the shadow just because of the lens compression. So I chose to shoot a little bit wider uh, and I actually think it works with this look. All right, so there you have it. That's how you can create a golden hour or sunrise look with just one strobe, some gels. You don't actually have to use the gels. Uh, here's an image without the gels and what that looks like. I just chose to use that to warm it up a little bit. So make sure you subscribe because I post a new tutorial every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Central Time. Make sure you check out Ali Sutton. If you have any questions, leave those below and I'll see you next time.